Hey guys, it's me Astrid, and guess what we have today? Can you see? Can you see? We got live orchids in this box. Um, this orchid I ordered from Seattle Orchid. I'm trying to surprise you what it is, but I probably put it in the title, so that's silly. But anyway, I'm not going to tell you until I show you. Um, I ordered this just a few days ago, and they ship really quickly. Um, they, I mean, orchids, every orchid seller ships really quickly, I, to my knowledge, because if you don't, you could uh, wind up with a dead orchid in the mail, and that would be bad. So now that I've cut my little letter in half from them, they wrote me a thank you on my letter, but I'm not going to show you because it has my personal information on it. All right, so this is already a sign of a well-packaged um, orchid. So what we got here, we got newspaper. It's packed in with lots of newspaper. It's going to be newspaper all up in this bitch. All right. This is really tightly packed. It's, they did a good job. save this box down here to put the trash in. Okay, so I think this is the bottom. It feels like it. it feels like I'm going to have to repot it already because it's probably in a little black pot based on the feeling. Now, people who ship orchids that do a good job pack it in shredded paper to keep the spikes and leaves and everything safe. Um, I have no idea if this is in spike or in bud or in bloom. I'm really crossing my fingers right now, but I'm not going to keep my hopes up for anything. So we've got... Ooh, I see a leaf. I see a leaf. This is exciting, you guys. Ah, ah, look at this baby. Hi. Sorry guys, my video got cut off there. So what I was gonna show you is that this plant has a flower spike that's already been cut off, so I know it's definitely blooming size. It's in really good shape. I'm gonna pull off some of these older sheaths here. Let's move this camera down so we can look more closely at my beautiful baby plant. All right. So when I'm looking at this orchid, I'm looking to see that we have healthy roots, that the potting media is acceptable. However, I am going to repot this because after last night repotting five of my orchids and seeing the shit that they were in uh, has reminded me the virtues of always repotting. I'm just going to go ahead and pull off this old root, this old sheath on here because one, Aesthetically, it looks better without these old things on it, too. According to everyone that talks about this online, this is where bugs like to hide out. So it's best to hide all their, get rid of all their little habitats. I hate bugs. Okay, now what, what it looks like here also is we've got one, two little new growths. It is an encyclia, so I think it takes a little bit brighter light, although I called Seattle Orchid the other day and they said Encyclia cochleata actually takes something more like Oncidium light, and as you can see it does look a lot like an Oncidium even though it is in fact not in the Oncidium genera. So I'm just going to play around with it and see what lighting conditions that it really wants to have and try to make it happy, and hopefully this guy is going to bloom for me real soon, and these blooms are amazing. Um, they may or may not be fragrant, and yeah, um, Seattle Orchid is a great orchid seller. I have no complaints from them. Um, well, maybe, but that's a different story. They're pretty good. If you want to order an orchid from them, absolutely do it, because they ship quickly, and they're really helpful. Customer service is great, and so on. So I'm going to bare root this right now, because I have a little bit of time before my next class. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to swoop all of this off of here um, and I'm just going to tip this out of the pot and look at our situation all right so we've got healthy looking roots they've attached to the bark 
that looks good. We've got all this business in here. And I'm just gonna gently kind of sweep this off. So, based on this situation here, these roots all seem to be in pretty good health. Not amazing health, but they're thin. They're not um, papery and squishable. That's a very good sign. And overall, these are looking pretty good. I'm not going to have to worry about this. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to repot this quickly. So what I've done, and I might make a video of it, is I took my nail drill and I drilled holes in this cup. I put a, a little extra dome in here for extra ventilation in the bottom of the pot. And I just filled it up with a really uh, medium grade bark perlite and charcoal mix. And I think the orchid will do well in this because it was part, potted up in a bark mix to begin with. But something cool you may notice is that I um, this um, this back bulb broke off and it's looking pretty healthy, reasonably speaking. It is a back bulb, and so I decided to put it with my um, Cycopsis back bulbs, which are currently growing some roots here. We've got one, two growing. Um, it had a third one, but I'm stupid and broke it off. I break a lot of stuff off my orchids, actually. But yeah, so I'm just sitting these down in some damp sphagnum moss together because why not? They're both sick and could die, so what else? But yeah, so now I have this encyclia, a back bulb that broke off from right here. And I'm going to see if I can get two plants for the price of one. We'll see in maybe a year or two if this back bulb takes off. But for now, I have this gorgeous encyclia cochleata potted up. And lately, I've been using um, bamboo sticks in my potting media because I've had too many incidents where I have overwatered um, with with this big of a cup even. Um, so what I do is I just put this in. I pull it out and I touch it to my skin. If it, if it feels wet, I will not water, and if it feels dry, I will water. And so that's how I check my orchid's roots and make sure it's time to water for real. So yeah, enjoy. I can't wait to show you when this blooms. Have a good day. Bye.